Right, today we're going to be doing a bit of a, a spruce up video, cleaning up an older caravan. Uh, we're going to do a bit of a wash off, but then I've got a bit of a trick, a special one. We're, it's the first time we're going to try it and we're going to see what the results come out like. And that's going to be towards the end of the video, so keep on watching. Oh, I've got to get my finger in there. And um, well, if I, because it's so hot and the, the sun dries it so quickly, if I try and wash it all down in one go, chances are by the time I've finished, don't have messed the video up. We've got the aluminium painted finish. I'm just going to do exactly the same again. So we've um, got a 2008 van, a uh, normal sort of aluminium sides on this one. And then at the front, we've not got the plastic panel, we've actually got a GRP. So this is fiberglass and then it's got a gel coat finish. Now the way to tell whether your fiberglass or your front is a fiberglass and gel coat is if you open the front locker and you can have a look in, um, you can either pull the little strip back here or just look at the back and it's basically, it's like glass fibre. Um, and that will tell you that you've got a glass fibred and then the front finish actually is a gel coat finish. And, what you'll sometimes get is when stones hit these, uh, you'll get little cracks in the in gel coat finish and it's not a huge amount you can do with that. Um, you can have them cut out, filled and painted, but they generally come back. But it's not going to leak, it's not going to cause any problems. So, um, But what they tend to do is after a few years, if they've not been kept on top of, they go quite dull like this. So we're going to give it a clean. Also with the sides, because we need a good clean on the sides, and if you have a look at this side, if you sort of look down the, the side of the panel, it's quite, it's quite dull uh, and it's quite patchy. It's difficult to see, but you'll normally see it sort of looking down it, especially if it's sunny, and it's, it's just not up to sort of where it should be. So we're going to give it a clean, and then we're going to try and get this back, but without using too much elbow grease. So let's see how it goes. We're going to be using um, Caravan Magic uh, sent us this for free a while ago. So we're going to try their wash. We tried some of their products before, so we're going to be trying a bit of their different stuff out for the actual wash and then a special little product, product at the end to actually get this up looking really nice. <laughs> Um, if it's really sunny and really warm like this, don't wash your caravan in this sort of weather. Hot day like today, how can you really wash and get in different sections? Uh, well, I'm breaking it down into sort of thirds or quarters or however, however you want to do it. But if I try and wash the whole side off in one go, by the time I've got to the end, the rest of it's probably going to be dried out because of how hot it is. So if I just do small sections that are still wet, then I can come back and with the hose wash that section off, and it's it's not making more work for me. So is that uh, I've not got to go back and wash an area that's already dried. So it just makes it a bit easier.
that? Magic potion? Yeah. Is this your secret weapon? This is my secret weapon. All oh, right. Are we allowed to know what it is or is it? No. Top secret? Top secret. Yeah. Um, so, we have washed the caravan, uh, but what you'll tend to find is that the wash will sort of clean it, get it nice and clean, but it's not going to bring the paintwork up, it's not going to bring the, the fibreglass uh, re back. It, it needs to be restored, it needs to be brought back to life, and if you can see down this side, it's very dull, very flat. Um, and it's not looking very nice. Very dull, very flat. Very dull, very flat, not very nice. Not very um, nice. So, what we have got, which, there's a couple of ways that you can do this. Um, and this is the easiest way that I've found. It's a bit of a cheat. Um, normally, we'd say to polish it, uh, use like a cutting compound, so like tea cut, uh, go over it with that and then polish it and use the polish to bring it back up again. But I'm going to let you in on a little secret and I'm going to show you how this works and, and what difference this makes. Um, you can brush it on, um, you can put it on quite liberally, let it settle in for about 15 minutes and then just use a cloth to take it back off. But I'm going to use a cloth, I'm trying to use it sparingly, uh, I'm trying not to use too much. Is that because it's expensive? Uh, I think so, I've not checked how much it is actually. Mm -hmm. um, any bits of dirt and whatever you can work it work it in um, but I'm just going to apply it liberally is that the right word liberally well that's a lot but you said you were using it sparingly well, so liberally slash sparingly liberally for me probably sparingly for everybody else right um, stuff I mean yeah mm. So I'm just going to apply this, uh, I'm just going to put it on and let it settle, let it soak in. And what this is actually meant for is boats. Um, so boats where they've got the fibreglass hull, where they've been damaged with seawater and they've been really bashed and they've had a lot of sort of corrosion, basically. What you use this for is to, to put it back onto the the fibreglass and it will just rejuvenate the, the fibreglass. Um, you've not got to go in there with a big polishing machine, you've not got to try and work it in. So they, do they do a specific caravan one or not? No, it's just literally a just gel coat one. and surface restorer, yeah. uh, which is just generally for gel coat finishes so it is a boat product it is a marine product but this is what we've got this is what mm. we're working with we've got gel coat so it's just going to restore it the one thing that it's not going to particularly do um, which is why we need to clean it as best as possible uh, and where the tea cut will possibly work a little bit better in some instances if it if it's quite pitted and quite dirty um, you might need to get a, a scrubbing brush sort of thing and work it in there. Whereas the tea cut, you can normally use the tea cut, polish it, and that will sort of grind it back down a little bit. Whereas all this is doing is just restoring the actual surface rather than going back and deeper into the surface and trying to re-polish back up from there. So we're just going to go and apply it to half of the areas. If you were going to go fully in depth, I'd open the windows, go all around the, the windows fully as well. But what I'm also going to try this on is our dull panels, because you can use this on metal also. Um, just at the front, this is plastic and you can use it on the plastic. We've got the little stripes of rust. So again, just working it in and it'll bring the, the rust straight off there and um, so it'll work on the on the plastic handles uh, the aluminium stainless steel handles etc if they're all pitted again it's really really good on the handles let's try it on the other side panel uh, I don't know whether you can see if you sort of shine across there I've not rubbed it in I've not really tried to polish it off but I don't know whether you can see where I've applied that and where it is. 
and then just down on this side panel we've got the aluminium painted finish I'm just going to do exactly the same again and basically what it's doing is, is just restoring all the oxidization um, that the paint workers suffered and I'm not I'm not having to work hard, I'm not having to really really rub it in or anything like that, I'm just literally applying it and the way that they say to actually apply it is with a, a paintbrush, they put it into a, a tin and actually paintbrush it on but I don't want to put that much on. But I don't know whether you can see the difference here between these two panels where we've got the line of where I've applied and where we've not. Um, I'm going to go for a second coat. Um, it's it's quite quite dull this, so I'm going to try a second coat and I'm going to work my way through. I'm going to pop the time lapse on and hopefully you'll be able to see the difference then as I go through the other side. So the verdict is in, the, the side has come up really, really well, a lot easier than sort of polishing. Um, the front, funnily enough, probably hasn't come up as good uh, as what the side panels are, and it was really the front for the gel coat that I was using this. Uh, I think another treatment over, I don't know whether you can see just the sort of, at the very top there, the, the difference where I've got to and where I've not done. Uh, it definitely makes a difference, um, but I probably need to go back over the front again, whereas I've only done one pass on the on the side. So, uh, really, really pleased with how that's come up. A hell of a lot different to how it was before. Um, and it's called um, Troll Marine. It's the gel coat and surface restorer. Uh, and you can use it on plastic metal gel coats, um, boat holes, decks, portholes, rigging, masts, spars, chrome, brass, car bumpers, tiles, marble. Um, so you can use it on a lot of a lot of things and it really just bring up the side panel without having to go in and sort of buff it all up with uh, like a tea cut and then polish it all back up again. It saves a lot of time. Um, so Hopefully you found the video useful uh, and it might just save you some time. Thanks for watching, I'm Mark at The Caravan Place.